Welcome to Gearhead Central. Today we're going to talk about my DIY kayak carrier for my Jeep Rubicon. So welcome back to the channel. Now this year I bought a kayak. It came with the foam pads that you place on your roof, two straps, you strap it through your doors, and away you go. Now the issue is, my Jeep is a two-door. So I did make it work, went through the front doors, placed it back a little bit, I put a strap around my tire, spare tire, and then I used the straps that came with it to hook to that strap and loop around. If I had it placed in the right position, it worked great. If it was too far forward, which it was one time, that rear strap would loosen up. And it's disheartening seeing that strap loosening, loose, loosen up and actually flap in the wind as you drive down the road. Got to pull over quick and fix that. So that was something I didn't want to deal with over and over again. And I want to be able to take my kayak anywhere. So I want to be able to go down the highway and be comfortable. So I looked for some options. I try to find out online. I checked forums, see how people are carrying theirs. A lot of them were either a lot of them were using the Jeep with the top off, strapping it to the, the sport cage on the Jeep. That is a good option in good weather or in areas where you don't mind leaving your Jeep with the top off. Me, I like having my Jeep near me when the top is off. Just, just the way I am. And that wasn't going to be an option for days that we're calling for rain later on the day. I want to be able to go anytime, anywhere. Some people were using the large racks that you could actually get and use, say, a rooftop tent, kayak. You could carry anything on them. The issue with those, they were about seven, eight, twelve hundred dollars. Way more than I was hoping to spend. So those were out. You can get other rack systems that bolt into the through the top that was something I was hoping to avoid and I can't just leave it laying out the back because of the tire just there's no room so then I thought about using my hitch carrier that I use for my snowblower I thought about it has a ramp on it I thought about putting a cradle at one end making that put the bow in that and then making a cradle on the ramp and having it rest on that. My concern with that is I just thought it would stick up a foot or two higher than I wanted to. With an eight foot kayak, my, mine's 10, that might, I might've got away with that. For the 10, I was a little concerned, so I scrapped that idea. So then I thought, what if I build something and where I was gonna have it angled on the back of the Jeep, why not build something that turns it so it's hanging off the back but pointing up over the roof rather than off to the side of it. Then I cons was concerned about having it high enough that when I went up an incline that it didn't hit the ground and destroy the kayak. So at that point I thought about putting on top using an upright, using an upright and then an I-beam cradle for it. So I thought of that and I figured I can build that myself. Then I looked around and then I did find one company that builds a kayak carrier and it was the same design I was just talking about. I said, well, why not just buy that rather than try to build it myself? Turns out price is higher than I thought it would be. Also shipping to Canada, the duty, everything else. It was going to put me in the price range of a really inexpensive trailer. So if I had the option, I'd take the trailer. There's other, other uses for that. I'd also like to build a camping trailer. But that was still in my price range right now. So I said, okay, I'm going to build. So then I thought, I'm going to build my design and go with that. So I went to the metal superstore, gave them my list. They cut all the pieces to length and I brought them home. So what I used was two by two 
one eighth wall steel to go into the hitch. If I was going to do it again, I'd possibly use quarter inch just to give you more peace of mind, but it hasn't bent at all. I see no issues with it. It's held up great in the times that I've used it. And I've left it on my Jeep for a while, but I had the kayak. The kayak doesn't weigh all that much, weigh that much. If I had a heavier one, maybe, uh, but, but it's held up great. I use one and a half inch by one and a half inch, one eighth wall for the upright. I use the same tubing for the main backbone of the top cradle. Then for the crossbars of the cradle, I use one by one, one eighth wall. And I weld that to a two by two, one eighth wall square tubing to slide over the one and a half inch. Now there is some play, actually there's more play than I'd want. I put some washers in to take that up because want to use it, try it out. Now what I like to do over the winter is actually cut those down so they fit a little tighter. And when I first built it, I had just the flat crossbars. With that, I was testing it out. I, I clamped the crossbars on with vice grips. So when I went to take the kayak off, I had to pull to the side a little so I didn't drag it across the vice grip. Well, that almost fell and hit the top of my Jeep. And that's the whole reason for building this was to not damage the top of my Jeep, which is really expensive. So I decided to put uprights, almost like bullhorns, on it. Now they're there just to keep it from blowing off. I've had one day before I built this that I had, I had the foam pads blowing off my roof because the wind coming off the lake was so strong. Well, with this here, I could throw it on and it's gonna take a lot of wind to blow that off the Jeep without the straps on. The holes drilled in and eyelets bolt on, bolted on for my straps. I have four of those. I need to cut that to length. I left it alone, tested it. I gotta decide whether I'm gonna weld it or just leave it bolted on. And I use a pool noodle for padding on the crossbar. So what I used first was this small pool noodle found at a dollar store. One issue I had with this was the diameter of the center hole. It was smaller than I had hoped. It didn't fit easily around the one by one square tubing. You can kind of force it on, you will get it there, but it's also thinner than I liked. Later on, I found a higher quality pool noodle with a larger diameter hole, which fit the one by one perfect. Also, it had more padding. So to test that out, I just taped it on, ran a slit down it, taped it on, hooked it up, cut for that center bar so it'd sit in, in tight, and it's worked great. It's actually held up. I thought the kayak would tear it up. I want to build a cover for it. I haven't done that yet. That's something I wouldn't mind doing over the winter as well. And then I might wrap the, the uprights in rubber after the paint it well just to protect them from scratches, keep it from rusting, keep it looking half decent. Now, when it's in the hitch, there is some movement forward and back and left to right. So to eliminate the side to side movement, I built a brace. Use this quarter inch plate to sandwich the the tow hook on the driver's side rear of the Jeep. Weld it on the nut, with the bolt through, built an angle into it, one, uh, one quarter inch plate, and it bolts to the upright, just a little, it's probably about 60% of the way up the pole. That eliminates most of the side to side movement if not all, there is some fort and back movement to that. Not a whole lot, but there is some. And just to kind of dampen some of that, I take the pool noodle to the upright in between that and the spare tire. That cut down some of the movement 
just kind of, like I said, dampen it a bit and it worked great. Now on it, on the highway, holds great. I did notice at, at highway speeds, there's a little bit of movement. That is from, and actually from the video of that, that is before I put the washers in. So it had a little more play. That's perfectly fine. I'd like to take that out of it so there, it's perfectly stable, but there's no issues. I put two straps on it. Down the road I go. Loading, loading the kayak is real easy. I set the front of the kayak on the rear crossbar, grab the bottom, slide it up on, and it's on there. Get up on the tire, throw my straps over, tighten them down, and away I go. It allows me to load the kayak in about five minutes, move it in about the same amount of time, and it's great. You just pick up and go anytime I want. Love it. So that's it. Right now, this has been my favorite mod for my Jeep. Now, that might change once I get my lift, bigger tires, and so on, but right now, this is my favorite mod, and... And I'm happy I built it. One other thing I did, I boxed in the end to close in the end of the two inch pipe. And I put a gusset in, which uses a cut one by one square tubing. And I also cut, and I also put one at the top of the upright between that and the crossbar. So this rack's been great. Held up great. I got to do a better job of painting it. Could do some uh, slight modifications to it, like I mentioned, over the winter. Have it ready for next year. So, so that's it. <laughs> so I want to thank you for watching. And check back every Wednesday for another video. And I'll see you next time.